How do you adjust kerning in Illustrator? Well, let me ask you a question. Is this bugging you right here? So we can adjust kerning and tracking, which is letter spacing across all your letters. We're going to press T for the type tool. And what we need to do to, uh, to kern in between any of these letters is to just click between them. So if I click between this K and this E, I can bring this spacing back together. When we look at the character panel over here, we actually have a kerning option right here. So this V and this A, this is our uh, percentage here, or our points that we're kerning by. We can actually select Auto, which are going to be whatever the font comes with. We can also uh, make adjustments on our own, or click some of these preset uh, kerning adjustments. And it won't kern a whole lot. In fact, I'll hold Shift to press the down arrow key, and it'll go by tens. And now you can see that those letters are getting closer and closer and closer together. So that is how you can kern between letters, uh, individual letters, which is what kerning is. Now, the other thing is letter spacing, which is also called tracking. So if I were to select everything here, this right here is actually the tracking. So this is the letter spacing between everything in uh, the, whatever I have highlighted, essentially. And so we could turn this up or down to space all the letters out or maybe bring all the letters closer to each other. So once you've kerned everything to where you want and you want to bring them closer or farther apart, that's what you can use to kind of do a whole paragraph or a whole set of words or phrases or maybe every letter in one word versus clicking between them and using this value right here to then kern between letters. And that's how you can adjust kerning and letter spacing here in Illustrator.